Hey guys, it's Alyssa from Online Fabric Store and today I'm going to show you how to make a few different types of fall themed hand towels. This is an oh so project, so let's get into it. Cut the towels to size. I am making mine 18 by 24 inches. For these towels, I will be using gauze fabric because it has the look that I'm going for, but if you want something a little more substantial or more absorbent, you can use whatever material you'd like. Regardless of the material, don't forget to pre-wash all of your fabric. And I'm not going to do this, but you could also serge up all of the edges or even just sew around them on a regular machine with a zigzag or overlock stitch to stop the material from fraying. Also, don't forget to protect your workspace with a drop cloth. Lay your felt a couple of sheets high in a shallow dish and pour enough bleach in to soak the felt but not pool over the fabric. Then start stamping away. You can measure and mark out where you want the stamps or randomly place them. I recommend lightly tapping the bleach stamp on a dry piece of felt before going to the fabric to get the most detailed result. Mix a couple of small batches of dye. In each bowl, I used about a cup and a half of really hot water, four to five tablespoons of dye, and one tablespoon of salt. For the first two, I'm going to do a classic take on tie dye. For one, I'm going to swirl the towel up, and with the other, I am folding it into a square. Rubber band the towels up and then pour the dye over top. There are a lot of dye techniques that you could use like ombre, shibori, or batik dyeing methods. If you're interested in learning about other dye methods, I'm going to link our fabric dyeing playlist above and in the description down below. I'm also going to make an ombre towel. After the dye has been allowed to set up, apply dye fixative and let the fabric sit for about 30 minutes. Rinse the dye out of the fabric, first using hot water and then working your way to colder water. As always, if you have any questions about dyeing fabric, you can always ask us in the comments down below. Collect some tree branches and leaves. Place them on your towel in whatever pattern you would like. Using a spray bottle, spritz a good amount of bleach all over the towel. Once it has lightened, you can rinse the remaining bleach out of the towel. For this last one, I will be using an apple, but you can really use whatever you want, be it other fruits or leaves, or if you're going with more of a Thanksgiving theme, you could do those little handprint turkeys or really whatever you want. Just like with the bleach stamped towels, use paint to randomly stamp the fabric. Try out a couple of test stamps on a piece of paper to get the feel for what will look the best. After you're done stamping, you can take a little paintbrush to add in small details and define the edges of the shape. And that's it for me. If you have any other fun variations, drop them down in the comments below because I'm sure we'd love to all see them. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. If you're interested, like and subscribe for more crafting tutorials, tips, and tricks, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.